Hi, I'm Sal McCagliano, Associate Professor of History at Campbell University, former merchant mariner and an adjunct instructor in maritime industry policy. And this is what's going on with shipping. So there is a slew of issues going on right now today, August 3rd, in the Persian Gulf, actually in the Gulf of Oman. Just got off doing interviews for Al Jazeera, where there are reports of attacks, multiple attacks, one attack, we don't know, on tankers coming into the Gulf of Oman. So let me give you what we know for sure. But most importantly, talk about the background. Why is this potentially happening? So let's uh, talk about this in a couple of uh, issues here. So first off, Mercer Street. Uh, we know Mercer Street, this is the vessel that was attacked by a UAV, by a, a, a drone of some kind. We believe it to be a Sh Shahid Iranian drone that hit the vessel, killed two people on board, a Romanian crew member, and a member of the security team, which was from Great Britain. That has resulted in statements coming out against the Israeli, uh, excuse me, against the Iranians, not the Israelis, the, 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 the uh, Iranians. Here's the story on G Captain that was released from Bloomberg about that, about the US, Israel, and UK vowing action against Iran for the Mercer Street attack. Now, Mercer Street right now is sitting in the anchorage in Fujairah. Let's zoom out here a little bit for you so you can see this. This is the main anchorage coming in right here to the Persian Gulf. So this is the Persian Gulf right here. This is the uh, 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 northern tip here of, of the Saudi Arabian Peninsula, actually the UAE. Iran is up here. And if you zoom out here just a little bit more, you can see what I'm talking about. This is, this is the area of the Persian Gulf. So she's in that main anchorage here in Fujairah. All the red you see here are tankers. So you'll see this massive anchorage here off Fujairah, just loaded with tankers. There's even more of them out here waiting for entrance into the Persian Gulf. They don't have to clear the Persian Gulf, but they're waiting to go in there before they go to their berths. And then you have vessels coming in and out of port here, uh, in and out of the channel here. Just a huge flow coming in here. I think one of the, the, the tools we have on here we can do is do these density maps. And you see the density maps, how how dense the traffic is coming in and out of here. Just absolutely just, just a, a crazy amount of, of, of density coming through there all the time. And you can see that being there. So this morning, this came out. This came out from the United Kingdom's Maritime Trade Opera, uh, Operations Center. Warning, August 1st, non-piracy event. An incident is currently under, underway in uh, position, that's position, probably 61 nautical miles east of Fujairah, investigations ongoing. And so this is the issue that is going on right now. And what we're hearing about is potential mines, uh, hijackings of vessels. We don't know. There's a ton of vessels out there. The ship that's grabbing the attention right now is this vessel right here, the Golden Brilliant. She's a tanker, a Singapore tanker out of Singapore, uh, heading into the Gulf, uh, oil chemical tanker coming in. And uh, she was due into, into the area. And if you go on it, she is underway right now, underway using engines. She is underway. Uh, you always have to be a little suspect. I've said this before, and I'll say it again about AIS, the automated information system, because it doesn't always track exactly uh, what we want it to do. You can spoof this thing. You can play with it. You can do a lot of things with it. Oops, sorry. Let me get back here to where she is and show you, uh, I want to show you her past track. So let's pull this over here to a second here and let's go to past track. So she has been basically just sitting there for quite a while uh, adrift and the Iranian Quds channel uh, with yeah, the Iranians have their own channel uh, on one of these platforms uh, announced that the Golden Brilliant had hit a mine. Now that raises a whole variety of incidents. Number one, what type of mine? What are we talking about? Go back to 2019, there were a series of mine attacks on vessels in those anchorages off Fujairah. Uh, these were limpet mine attacks. These were mines that were affixed to the side of vessels. Later on, we see attacks on vessels underway where speedboats come alongside, affix mines to the side of the vessel and detonate them. Uh, is this a floating mine, an anchored mine? Who knows what is going on out here right now, we're hearing reports of multiple vessels that have this. If we go back to uh, this, let's let's go back here just to uh, marine traffic here. Let's pull Golden Brilliant back up. Uh, one of the things that people are doing right now, and I, I again, I can't preach this enough. Be careful what you read off this data right here, because this data isn't always telling you what is going. What you what you read off it is isn't always what you may think it, it is. 
And, and uh, what I mean by that is this data can be misinterpreted and especially by people who don't understand the data very well. For example, one of the ships being mentioned right now is this vessel right here, Asphalt Princess. Uh, she's underway using engines, but she's got a very similar track line to what we've been talking about. She's been just kind of milling around out there. Uh, I, I don't know what that means. Uh, I just don't. I, I can make sus guesses and everything like that, but I really shouldn't, and I'm not, because we, we just don't know. This other vessel right here, uh, the Kamdunhu, an asphalt uh, uh, Bitman tanker, she's not under command. She's also out there. The Abyss, another one, a Vietnamese vessel, is up here also not under command. And so we just don't know what's going on in the area right now. We just don't know. We're waiting to hear more information. And one of the things I think I, re I really think should stress to everybody is to wait and hear what information is being developed. Uh, a lot of the sites right now aren't saying anything because they want to make sure that they get the right information out. They just don't want to cause issues. So we're not sure what's going on. Even the report from the Kurds channel, I, take, I, I hadn't seen that. That's reported by somebody else. So I, I don't know what has happened here. We don't know what's happened with the Golden Brilliant. We don't know what's happened with any of these other vessels. But what I do know is this. This is part or this is going on in the background of the epicenter of this, this, this kind of Saudi, uh, Iran, Israel proxy war that is out there. And, and one of the things we're seeing is these, these attacks being launched against commercial vessels, uh, whether it's Israel, Iran, Saudi Arabia, I don't know who's doing what out there, but understand that this has been going on since 2019. We've seen attacks on commercial vessels. Uh, in 2019 at the United Arab Emirates, there was an attack here on four vessels that was taking place. Uh, a few uh, months later in the Gulf of Oman, two tankers, these were the underways, were hit by explosives as they passed through the Straits of Hormuz, uh, including fires uh, on board. This is on the, uh, uh, the front Altair and on the Kakua uh, Courageous. Then in July, we've seen the Iranians grab a vessel. This is the Stena Imperio. This is a UK flag vessel. They, they seized it on July 19th and held it, uh, held it for quite a while. Uh, after 10 weeks, it was uh, eventually uh, uh, released. Uh, then we saw the same thing with another tanker uh, in, in August uh, near Farsi Island. Uh, it was held. Uh, and then in the Red Sea, we've seen attacks on Iranian vessels. Uh, this is the Sabadi in October 11th. We saw that attack uh, in, in the Middle East. Again, we've seen uh, the Iranian Re Revolutionary Guard seize vessels. So it's not the first time we've seen this happen, uh, go on. Uh, we've seen uh, issues here between the United Arab Emirates uh, and Iran, too. Uh, we get a case in August right here where the uh, Iran's military boarded a Liberian flagged uh, vessel, the Wheela, uh, and, and we're, we're on board it. Uh, and then we've seen this kind of tit for tat, and you can read through this and, and see what, what's on. I'll, I'll post a link to it. But this kind of tit for tat, and the most recent one we have here is the attack on Market Street which has now resulted in the deaths of two people, a Romanian and a British national. What's going on in the Persian Gulf right now? Uh, Gulf of Oman, we're not sure. It is developing. It's a developing story. And shipping companies are very slack to, to get information out. Uh, there are reports. We know there's aircraft over the area. People monitor air traffic. I've seen that on their sites. I, I don't link to that stuff because I don't understand it enough. Uh, but we know there's aircraft over the site and we know vessels are basically leaving the area. It, it, to me, it's interesting that the Golden Brilliant was inbound to the Persian Gulf and now she's underway at 10 knots leaving the area, uh, heading away. So something turned her around. Uh, she's heading out of the area. She's not heading to Iran or any other place. But then you do have these other vessels that are, are like, 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 again, like, like this vessel that's sitting here and not under the command abyss and that's the thing they're not anchored they're not they're not just you know slow steaming and everything they're they're just showing themselves to be basically not under command and what does that mean we don't know we don't know you can make all the suppositions you want you can guess you can come up with the, the greatest piece of insight in the world or fiction we just don't know and so uh we'll have to pace this out i will argue this one piece and then i'll, I'll add this to it is again one of the things we're seeing here is disruptions in the global shipping network. I uh, did a video yesterday about the 32000 cost for a box. This just adds to it. It adds more doubt to it. Understand, back in the 1980s, during the tanker war, when Iran and Iraq were at full bore, throwing missiles at each other, attacking vessels, never once did it stop really the flow of oil coming out. This is not going to stop the flow of commerce. 
what this does do, but is raise insurance, raise costs, raise the expense for everybody associated with it and creates instability. The other thing this has the potential to do is bring in other nations into the area if there's linkages to these attacks to a, a nation or a non-state actor, then new nations can come in here. This is a Singapore tanker, for example. What does Singapore do? What if Vietnam's involved, the British? Who knows? There's too much energy coming out of the Persian Gulf to be constrained. And these new levels of attacks, these limit mine attacks, these missile attacks, these rocket attacks, these UAV attacks, if this is a floating mine attack, this, 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 this is beyond the scope of security teams embarked on vessels to defend their vessels. And that means you have to start bringing in naval forces. Who's naval forces? Who starts playing a measure here? The US Navy has guarded the Mercer Street, got it into port. It provided protection for a Liberian flagged, Japanese owned, Israeli operated vessel. Uh, and, and I commented at the end of my video yesterday how much that that's great. The US Navy keeps the world's ocean commerce open, the sea lanes are open. But we can't get goods off our own docks in the United States on the vessels because they're not U.S. owned or U.S. Uh, flagged. And so how does the U.S. react to this? How do the other nations react? To it? I don't know. It's going to be interesting to watch and follow, and I'm going to follow it. So if you're enjoying this update, uh, please follow the channel, hit subscribe, hit the bell. So when new videos come out, I can get them to you quickly. Give it a thumbs up to get it out in YouTube and in the alg algorithms. And please feel free to share. So this is Sal with the latest update going on from the Persian Gulf, Gulf of Oman, signing off.